Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabax. In this tutorial, we are going to link our Discord server to our Rust gaming server. We are going to use the Discord extension for this. And after that, we will also look at Rustcord. The Discord extension acts as a bridge between Discord and your server. And as you can see, it is being used by many different plugins, even some paid options that are not included in this list. So in this tutorial, we will first install the Discord extension. We will then add a Discord bot to our Discord server. Then we will take a look at Rustcord, which is one of the plugins in this list. With Rustcord, you get a lot of information and a lot of different features from just one plugin. Hopefully after learning how to install Rustcord, you can then install any of the Discord plugins that you like. We will only look at Rustcord in this tutorial, but I quickly want to give you a few examples that I think are interesting in combination with Tabax. We have Discord group. This will automatically give a player a Discord role after linking their game to their Discord account. Another one is Discord chat. This will allow players to chat between Discord and the game server. You can set it up as a way for your players to communicate. If you have a big moderation team, you might also find this handy to use internally, allowing you to communicate through Discord with people on the server, even if you are not able to connect to the Rust server at that time. Another interesting one is Discord call admin. This creates a live chat between a specific player and admin through Discord. This time allowing you to give in-game support yourself without being in the game. One thing to note, always look at the dependencies. This Discord call admin plugin doesn't just require the Discord extension, it also requires Discord core. Where the Discord extension creates a bridge between Discord and your server, Discord core is more about a link between the individual player and the server. This link with a specific player can then, for example, be used by something like Discord call admin, in this case, to open up a live chat between two specific people. So let's start off by installing the Discord extension. This is fairly simple. You just need to download the DLL file. You put this inside of your managed folder. If you're hosting your server locally, find your Rust dedicated underscore data folder. Inside here, you have a managed folder, and this is where you put the DLL file alongside with all these files already in the folder. I am using a hosting company, so for me, the steps are slightly different. For me, I go to Mod Manager. I first make sure I have UMod installed, and then under Extensions, I have the option to install the Discord extension. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our developer applications. You can find the link in the description of the video. Then go to New Application. Of course, make sure you are logged in first. I will call it Academy Demo Bot. Accept, and then click on Create. Let's then click on Bot to the left. Then if we scroll down, we're going to make sure that we click these bottom three. So all the intent, presence, server members, and message content. Let's save this. Let's then scroll up and click on reset token. After filling in our two-factor authentication, which you should always enable, we will now get our token. So let's click on copy. Then under the OAuth URL generator at the bottom, we're going to select bot. And then at the permissions, we're going to select administrator. All the way at the bottom, we now have our generated URL. We can either copy this and paste it and just go to the URL, but we already have the token from our bot copied. Do not have to reset our bot token again. I'm just going to copy this, drag it to the top and press enter. I should now be able to select what server I want to add this bot to. So I'm going to select the Academy server, press continue, make sure that administrator is checked and then click on authorize. It says we can now close this tab. So let's do that. We can now see that the bot has joined, but is currently offline. We have our Discord extension installed. Our bot has joined the server. Let's now switch over to one of the plugins to actually use that connection. So in our case, I want to demonstrate Rustcord. So I'm going to download the file and add it to the server. Let's download the plugin file. Let's find our plugins folder. In my case, I'm going to go to Carbon, Plugins, and then let's upload that file. Let's select Rustcord, make sure that it's done. Double check the web console to see a message that it's actually loaded. Here we get a message from Rustcord. So it is attempting to do something, but we don't have the proper API key. So now we're going to go to our files. Again, go to carbon, go to config and find our Rustcord JSON file. Here we have to put our API bot token. So paste your token over here. Optionally, there are some Discord settings you can change. If you want to change the branding, you can also set a different icon using a Steam ID. For example, if you want to use the logo of your server, and as you can see, there are many different logging things that you can enable that are disabled by default. 
So all the information you will see in a little bit, as you can see, is not even close to everything that we can log using Rust Court. Of course, you can enable whatever you need for your server. At the bottom, there are some more configuration options. I always highly recommend going through the full configuration file to see what kind of options you have, and also to check if there are any settings that you do not like or would like to change from the default settings. Since we are just demonstrating, I'm mainly focusing on making the connection work. Let's save and exit for now, and then let's reload our plugin. So I'm going to say carbon.reload Rust Cord. And it now says our bot was found in one guild. A guild is a Discord server. When we now check the Discord server, our bot is actually online. That is good. But if we want to actually make it do something, we need to specify what channel we want to get these messages. One thing we need to do is go to our user settings. Then under advanced, make sure that you enable developer mode. This will allow you to go to a channel, right click, and then copy the channel ID. We need this to put in our configuration file. You probably don't want to put this information inside of the general channel. So make sure that when you make a channel, you make it a private channel that is only visible to the people that need to see the information that Rustcord is providing. It's just me on the server. It's a demonstration. So for me, I'm going to use the general channel ID. Let's copy this. Let's go back to that file we just were. So the configuration file for Rustcord. And here we see that the logging enabled for player chat is true, for joins and quits is true. And also kicks and bans are also true. When scrolling down, we can see that Discord channel ID we can put over here. And we can see that the flags that are attached to this channel also correspond with the things that are enabled. So we have the joins, the quits. Oh, let's not do that. <laughs> we have the joins, the quits. We do have kick over here as well. So these things should now show up inside of this channel. We are just going to try one channel, but you could add more channels and also add different flags to different channels. Let's click on save and exit. Let's do the same thing. Let's restart the plugin. So we're going to do carbon.reload rust cord. If you're using oxide, you're going to do O or oxide.reload and then the plugin name. So again, Discord socket connected, found in one guild. That is good. So let's see what happens when we connect to our server. And we can see here, Stuxtad has connected. Stuxtad is my username. So we should also get a message when we leave. And again, Stuxtad has disconnected. There is a official guide for Rustcord. Again, link in the description. You can also find this inside of the UMod page. I would recommend going through this, seeing what kind of options you have, because it is quite in depth. Since Tabex connects to both your Rust server and your Discord server, and you now have your Rust server and your Discord server connected, you now have many more options and possibilities to offer your players. Since we just demonstrated how to install a plugin that uses that Discord extension, you should now be able to install any Discord plugin that you like. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.